Welcome back to part two of Hot Wheels Unleashed. Uh, last time we did all right so far with uh, selecting our first car and trying out a few of the uh, the Gucci car and also uh, some sort of mobile car. Today, we're going to try the multiplayer. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the uh, player count is looking like, but I guess we'll find out when it's second here. Uh, we're, I get, it looks like it takes us to a lot. Okay, we actually got it. So, see what we have. I'm going to go ahead and select the car. Right now, we're just using the mobile one. Um, looks like we might actually be able to do the other matches if we don't have, even though we have, don't have the expansion pack. Because right now, they're voting for the Batman one so i i mean i'll vote for it too i don't know if it's gonna kick me out or what first plate okay That's Does this game have mo or open mic on? Because <laughs> it looks like it. Alright, this map's actually pretty cool so far. Big jump. The environment for this this map here is pretty sick. All the little details. We got a match as fast as we actually did. Catch 
catching up with somebody. Seconds. So I guess there is one. What's happening now? Bum ba bum ba bum bum. Bum ba bum ba bum bum. Bum ba bum ba bum bum. If you hold in right thumb stick, it will let you talk in the game. Uh. So that's that's actually good to know. Uh, if you select a map, although you don't have the expansion for it, you can actually still play it. So that's pretty cool. Skyscraper. That one looks pretty. Hot Wheels Monster Truck expansion. So if you play multiplayer, you can actually select it. What the? What is that? Mobius circuit. Director's cut. Top motion. Okay. So it seems like playing playing online. Does the mic like get picked up every time? Hello? Hi. I see it flashing. Waiting for someone to be like, shut up, bro. Go big, go hot wheels. Michael here. Oh god. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is actually these maps are cool. Looks like they also have the character created ones available for the multiplayer matches now too. Just hit lap two. Oh my gosh. Oh, I get whacked. 
I really thought we were about to get waxed there. just happened oh no I hear some some high high speed racing right here oh my god can't even control that oh now i'm gonna start throwing It's pretty awesome. Cool. bad not bad could have been worse right could have been worse So we, it looks like we got another blind box. And actually, we can buy a few of them uh, with our coins here. So we have 1,000. 3,800. Okay, we can buy seven. Sure. We'll buy seven then. And let's open them. Let's see what we got here. Uh, so if you, if you guys hear me getting a little bit quiet during the next few matches, apparently when you're in the lobby, uh, you're not muted. So... Don't mind me. Uh, I don't want to be talking in people's ears while we're trying to load into the match. I do get a little bit quiet there. But once we're actually in the match, I believe for the most part, you're fine. Um, so for some reason, they added a tog. Ooh, yeah. Got a Ford Mustang GT. Okay. 
What else we got here? Try your luck. Just got an achievement for this one. Try Sarah truck. Okay. And the next one is twin mill. Interesting. And finally, we got. Oh, I already have one of these. Can I sell it? What happened? How does it sell? Oh, you just set it on fire. Oh, okay, you sell it for more coins. Okay. So let's go to our collections now. The new cars. We got the Ford GT. We can upgrade that one. Okay. Uh, we do have 200. We also got a Fiat 500. Okay. So they do have regular cars in here. Uh, the Mountain Mauler. Dodge, Roger Dodger. Add uh, Supercharged. That's the other one. Surf and Turf. That's their new one that we just got. Total Dispose. <laughs> you can actually go in with a car. What is that? That braking power is amazing, though. Windmill. Interesting. Got two twin mills, actually. Go ahead and sell one. 900 coins back. And what else we got? It looks like that's it. These are all the blind boxes. So I guess you can only, oh wow. There's actually a lot more cars than I expected. And then these are the ones that you can buy. The Corvette, Aston Martin, uh, 56 Chevy, Hot Wheels monster truck. Is that the, no, that's not the Batmobile. What is this, Hollowback? Wait, there's a Barbie. There's Barbie pack too. <laughs> Armored Batman. You see, Batmobile one. Hot Wheels, more Hot Wheels. Capcom, you can get Chun Li's car. Yes. Yeah, I forgot about the Capcom stuff. Uh, M Bison, not exactly sure what that one is. You can also get a McLaren. It's kind of cool. Some Jurassic Park stuff. Some more DC. Roadrunner, Looney, Robin's car, Capcom, another McLaren, Mystery Bus, right? I forgot about that. It's also Nickelodeon. Uh, looks like the Team Ninja Turtles. Yep. This one. Spider. Another monster truck. Race Ace. There's definitely a variety of cars. That, I mean, the best ones that I have so far is this Gucci one and the Twin Mill. But this Twin Mill, um, like if you look at the Gucci one, that's great and all, but the speed is not perfect. And then meanwhile, this thing, the acceleration is really up there. The handling is up there. Like it, It's obviously miles better than the Gucci car. Um, this one actually, I feel like would be pretty good if we upgraded it. Just starting. Let's see, so we upgraded it once. Yeah, we can almost get it to this. We upgraded it like two more times. Acceleration goes up by two next time. And then I'm sure you can probably upgrade it like one more time. Oh, you can also boot. Oh. I guess so if you look to the left it says boost the boost is only half so maybe it's the car is so good but it only has half the boost meanwhile if you upgrade these cars maybe you can get a lot more boost from it i see i i think i see it all right let's go into another match like i said uh, it's probably gonna get quiet because i don't want to be hot like hobby search in progress Let's see what the steam charts for this game's this game is. Right now, at the time of recording this, there are 233 people. Test one, two. Testing. 
Ah, aha. So if, uh, you have to hold it down in this, be able to, uh, to chat. Uh, what is, is visit, visit profile and visit. Um, 2% completion. I'm gonna exit, try searching again. Try to find another. Okay, well, I spent the last 10 minutes trying to find another match to get into for the multiplayer, and unfortunately, I couldn't find a single one. It just put, kept putting me into a lobby by myself i waited like two or three minutes still nobody joined i left search for a match again kept putting me in the lobby with myself so we're gonna try just running another mission and uh see how it goes but in the meantime while i was doing that i actually looked up the expansions um so this game in the last video i was talking about how much this game probably costs and uh other things like the expansions and all the things that pops up in the shop apparently so I, I i am playing this game through humble bundle uh which i also mentioned in the last video but um it was 12 bucks for a humble bundle and i got this game and a few others uh apparently this game at full price is 50 dollars and on top of that they have everything in the store and uh, each expansion is fifteen dollars so yeah i was kind of looking at that and uh i don't know i don't know really what they were thinking with this here um because i mean anybody playing forza could probably get the expansion for less and you have an ac access to a lot more cars and uh you also get there's still some pretty cool maps and everything. Um, it's also kind of a little weird that the materials to build your own map is purchase items as well. I don't know. Something about it. It's just... Uh, I can see why the player count is at 200 in its current state. Um... So uh, that, that kind of explains for it. Now, it did get a little bit of an increase uh, this month, probably because of Humble Bundle. So I saw that it, it went up about 25% of players. Uh, and th that is including the 250 players that are currently online. Um, it looks like the peak for the game had 2,000 on release. And from there, it went down to 300, and then it went down to 200, and it's pretty much been at that 200 uh, ever since then. So I just wanted to kind of give that background on this. I mean, if you do still want to check it out, I mean, feel free to do so. I, I think right now getting this game and a few others for 12 bucks, not really a bad price, especially when you're getting games like the Ascent. And uh, I'm still drawing a blank on what the other games were. But I don't know. I think if this game, the base part, came out as free to play and the expansions were available to, uh, to buy for solo play, then that I would understand. But $50 asking price, personally, I think that's a little a little too much uh, if i was gonna buy this by itself outside of buying the game uh, or getting the game from humble bundle personally i would put a price tag of no more than 15 20 dollars maximum uh, but 50 dollars i think is for what you're getting in the game not really worth it in my honesty uh, but it's not to say it's not fun it's just you're asking a lot for also asking a lot more for other content and vehicles things like that so um i think with that said i i'm gonna kind of leave it at this um the game's cool it's interesting it is fun it's mindless turn off your brain play like two or three missions 
But honestly, if I was going to play some Hot Wheels, I would go to Forza Horizon 5 and use all the vehicles that they have available there. Or, you know, if they change up the structure of this game and it gets a resurgence or something, then it might be worth coming back to. For now, uh, that's going to be it. Let me know if you did enjoy this video or if you plan on checking this out, whether it's from... Uh, from or, wait, let me know if you're checking out this game. Whether it's from Humble Bundle or you've been playing it since release. Any comments, suggestions, feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.